First of all, quickly, let's just run through your repertoire, what pitches you throw. Uh, okay, obviously there's always the four-seam fastball. Uh, mine goes kind of across, it just feels comfortable for me. A lot of guys throw theirs really straight, but mine goes across. Obviously there's four seams going that way. Sure. Uh, my sinker, two seam, whatever everyone wants to call it. Right on, very simple, right on top of the seams, my thumb's on the bottom. Um, if you want to really move it a lot to push it, you kind of move your thumb up. It's kind of uncomfortable, but um, change up, it varies from whatever I feel comfortable. Some days it's like that with those fingers inside the seams, and some days I go wider. It's whatever it feels comfortable that day. Okay. Or sometimes I'll just make one up and move my thumb up. One day, it works sometimes. Slider, lately it's been more right about there. That way I, have, I can rip against that seam right there. Mm -hmm. Obviously I don't throw many sliders, so maybe I need to think of something else. <laughs> okay, but let's go to your bread and butter, which is the two-seamer. Okay. So let's, let's grip that again and just kind of take the viewers through how you throw that pitch. Uh, the main thing is a lot of people do it wrong, at least I feel like. They'll put a lot of finger on the ball or they'll go too high and that takes a lot of friction on it and that trues the spin up. Mm. I'm very fingertip dominant. That's probably why my nail is breaking. <laughs> Very fingertip dominant, where I just want to feel the tips, and the last thing I want to feel at the end is come off that middle finger. Huh. Um, but I don't accelerate it until I get about, I wait till I get about right here, and then I always want to think about just handing the ball as much as far as I can to the catcher. That way it comes off that middle finger. That's last. how you get that extension. Yeah. It seems like your two seamer moves kind of different ways at times. Sometimes you get that downward movement, and sometimes you get a little more run to yeah. it. And you mentioned that you can modify the way that you're throwing this pitch yeah. to get it to have those different types of movement. How, how do you make that adjustment? What is that adjustment? I think it's all acceleration. If I want to make it run a little bit, I'll kind of get under a little bit, accelerate early and get under. Okay. If I want it to run back on a kind of like that way, sideways from the out, from the left handers banner box and back. So I'll, towards I'll, towards a left-handed hitter's yeah. hip and then back to the I'll, front so corner. I'll come out of it a little bit. Uh -huh. I'll make sure I reach, but I still want to come out of it. If I want to drive out his hip and drive it down, I'll still come up, get on top of it and then reach it and then drive it down. It's just all a matter of when you start the acceleration. If I Ooh. accelerate it early, it's going to run. If I accelerate it late, it's going to be more of a downward, downward movement. movement. You lean, kind of like Sean Doolittle, very heavily on your fastball, your yeah. two-seamer, your four-seamer. How have you been able to have so much success when leaning so heavily on heaters? It's just command. It's all this game is about command. If I could command my slider wherever I wanted, then I would throw my slider. But I feel like if I can move a fastball in four different quadrants and I can command it, and it really becomes eight different pitches if I throw a four seam and a two seam with four different quadrants. And I can keep the hitter still going to be keep guessing because he has to think about two different movements. He has to think about up or down. Has this been the two seamer grip that you've had over the course of your career, or yeah, have yeah. you? I mean, I've tried to tinker a little bit, go in between the seams. Um, it was it was consistent movement, but it was very small movement, and I just wasn't getting enough uh, action on it as much as I like. Guys would foul it off, and then they would hit it the next time. Well, at least this one, the guys can't gauge it that much, mm. and it's a lot later, and the, the, the spin is less. So on a two seam, the less spin, the better. I know four seam, the more spin, the better. So uh, like, I think mine's under 2,000 RPMs, which is really good. I think last year, Zach Britton was like 1,600, which is unbelievable oh, wow. for 98. Yeah. Um, but for, I think four seam for a guy over 2,400, that's really good. So you always, it's almost like you want a, a knuckleball two seam. Right. So again, for the fans out there, these two seams down the middle, that's right, right on top. Right on top. But just fingertips. Probably about the two couple of joints. Don't get don't get the first don't get all the joints on it. Just right on the tip. And then thumb underneath. Yeah, thumb underneath and you really want to feel that finger come on top. Cool. Brandon, thanks so much. No problem. Brandon Kinsler taking us behind the scenes.